Deuteronomy 23:20 Lo tashik le achicha neshech kesev neshech ochel neshech kol davar asher yishach So got a verse here that has a lot of nashach and neshechs going on here. So verse 20 starts a new section with the next two verses dealing with lending, uh, lending on interest particularly. And that's what uh, we get here at the beginning. And we'll fill out that context in verse 21 in the Hebrew Bible, verse 20 in the English Bible. So we begin here with the negation, you shall not lend at interest. Now the verbal root here is nashach with that one noon and you can see here it's a hifil so we've got the a performative and the a hiric yod thematic vowel but this one noon has assimilated here as the dogish forte in the sheen so we see this pretty regularly we're going to see it again down here but in the call so we've got the hifil and the call both here and so we have you shall not lend at interest or lend with interest to your brother. Now, this is kind of the kicker in this particular verse, is you shall not lend to your brother these various things that we're going to see down the road here. Because in the next verse, we're going to see you can lend that to foreigners, but not to your brother. So this is particularly lending at interest to your family members or to your brothers within Israel. Okay, what shall you not lend at interest? The interest on silver. Technically, this is a uh, construct, the interest of silver. Now, let me just point out quickly the uh, segalit nouns here like this, neshech. So notice the two segols and the accented R1. These forms are going to be identical in both the absolute and the construct. They're identical. So how do you know this one is a construct? It's because of the conjunctive accent here and here. And so we get interest of, the interest of. Now, interest of is oftentimes understood to be here interest on. So you can't charge interest on money that you've lent, interest on food, or interest on anything which, we get the relative clause here further defining the thing, anything which he may lend with interest. So here again is the verbal root nashach. This time it's third masculine singular, and it's just a generic subject here. So we might say anything which someone may lend.